Wait, what? What's up, cereal heads? Welcome back to Roll for Cereal, a series where Sometimes I let the dice. Get some oh no. Help me craft it, you. Oh, talk about the What's up, cereal heads? Welcome back to Roll for ah. Cereal, a series where I let the dice help me craft a unique bowl of cereal from a mix of ingredients. Apparently, today is National Fig Newton Day. Remember, oh. a cookie is just a cookie, but Newtons are fruit and cake. All right, let's get things started as always with Roll for Bowl. <laughs> Seven cereal time bowl. Yeah. So I was gifted this cereal time bowl years ago from one of the cereal companies, I think General Mills, in a care package they sent out. All right, moving on now. Let's see what we get when we roll for cereal. Two wheat bix ah. Second time rolling this British classic. Wheat bix was originally created in Australia about a hundred years ago. Wheat bix is the British shelves around 1932. They're just big shredded wheat biscuits that aren't super popular here in the U.S., but I enjoy a bowl of Weetabix from time to time. I'm sure I'll be judged by my technique, but I like to put three biscuits standing up in a bowl and then pile my toppings on before pouring the milk around the sides of them. Speaking of toppings, time to break out the 2D20s now and roll for wild cards. One curry powder and three red pepper flakes. Oof, not the good sweet toppings I would normally use used for wheat bix I have some curry powder which can be used in sweeter curries, but I don't think it'll work with these biscuits. And then just to add a little more chaos, we're gonna sprinkle them with some crushed red pepper flakes. A topping I love for pizza and pasta, but not so much for cereal. Okay, well, let's stay away from more low numbers now as we roll for drizzle. Six ginger. Okay, well the dice gods clearly want some spice and seasoning in this bowl of cereal. The ginger syrup should add another bite to go along with the red pepper and curry powder. I don't think this is all gonna mix together. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Hold on a second. I'm gonna take the buddy hallelujah sound. Ready? Hallelujah sound. If you want something good. If we roll something good. Kick buddy angel. Kick the buddy angel. Alright. Alright. One. Hold on. Well, that's not right. That's not right. Very well, but let's see where our final. Hold mm -hmm. Angel buddy. Ingredient is now when we roll for milk. One Pepsi plus milk, also known as Pe Pepsi milk. I'm considering it. Okay. I have the sound effect ready. Alright. Milk. It's been around for a while, but last year Pepsi did a marketing push for the holidays with Lindsay Lohan. Oh. Pepsi and milk. So the proper ratio for pilk is hotly debated, but I'm going to go with about 60% Pepsi and then I'll add about 40% milk and stir everything together to get it mixed. It's not too different from a root beer float, and that worked great in episode 83. But before we pour it, gotta see if we'll be listening to tunes or watching tunes today. 11, Denver, the last... Dinosaur. This cartoon premiered in 1988, and it was about a dinosaur that hatches from a petrified egg in modern times, and then he's befriended by a bunch of teenagers. They skateboard, play in a rock band, and get into all kinds of adventures. I feel like it came off the success of the dinosaur boom created by the Land Before Time movie that year. The show ran for two seasons with about 50 episodes. Alright, let's hit this bowl of Weetabix with some pilk, and now, moment of truth. Will these ingredients come together to create a great bowl of cereal? I try to remain as open-minded as possible because we've had some weird combos that have actually turned out to be good. And the first few bites were a real roller coaster with different flavors hitting in different bites. But when everything was mixed together as one cohesive bowl of cereal, it wasn't very good. And I blame the curry powder. It was the strongest flavor that overpowered everything else. I feel like the red pepper flakes and ginger actually don't clash with the pilk and Weetabix. It's just that stupid curry powder. Because of that, I gotta give this one one and a half stars and I'll call it Tis the Seasoning. Without the curry powder, this one would have had some real potential. 
essential. This was actually my first time trying pilk, and I was pleasantly surprised. I know a lot of people think soda and milk is a weird pairing, but just like a root beer or coke float, I think it's pretty satisfying. Just need better toppings if I use it again as a cereal milk. Alright, midweek matchup tomorrow, and then another back of the box on Thursday. Until next time, stay crunchy.